to go to Needles, California, which means we're going to be in Nevada, then Arizona, then California. So our three-state trip began here in Las Vegas, in Nevada, crossed into California here, went to the DMV in Needles, and then back up the 95 past Fort Mojave to Bullhead, which is right here. Then you come up and you take the mountain pass and then you reconnect to 95 to go back to Las Vegas. Um, and here's why. So the first week that we're here, we have a doctor's appointment. I rarely take my wallet anywhere, but I took it in case we needed, um, you know, I don't know why I took it. I think I was going to pay. I don't know. So, um, anyways, I left my wallet. Somebody found it. Somebody used it. And I now have to go to California because you cannot get a replacement or duplicate ID online. You have to go to a physical DMV office. So I have to go to California to um, get a duplicate ID. And uh, then when I get the duplicate ID in the mail, I can get a Nevada state ID. So lovely. Yeah. Um, and I would have went ahead and went on to the Nevada um, DMV, except I am going to need proof of identification before I can even get a paycheck. So I need to have it like ASAP, and I, I can't afford the time it takes to wait um, to get any of that in the mail. Um, so that's what we're doing today. We're also going to stop in and see some friends in Bullhead City because it's on the way. And um, uh, we're just going to take you along with us. So expect to see some desert view and uh, maybe our friends later. Not sure. Not sure what I'll throw in here. Just wanted to vlog about this because it's such an inconvenience. And we're technically traveling today through three different states. So that's what we're doing. All right. Yeah, not sure how any human with natural seeing eyes is supposed to see this road and uh, Las Vegas doesn't like to paint uh, lines on the road they just have like several reflectors but this is really ridiculous the sun's hitting it at just the wrong angle and it makes it really hard to see it probably would help if we washed our car too just saying <laughs> somebody's in a good mood today hey baby this is your first time to Arizona? Yeah. It's gonna be your first time in Arizona? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's my big boy. south between we just passed into California we're about 30 miles north of Needles and um, it's basically just a two-lane road in the middle of nowhere y'all know how that makes me nervous <laughs> Robert's probably loving it yeah Robert just said it's nice <laughs> But uh, we're going to be on this for about 22 more miles. And then we'll, I think it says, what, 34 minutes to Needles? So then we'll be we'll at the DMV. He said we'll have some civilization coming up ahead soon. But, I mean, it's a really beautiful ride. It really is. It's hard to even show you how beautiful it is. Especially with our dirty-ass windshield. <laughs> baby's been asleep for a little while thankfully I always worry when we're in the middle of nowhere if he starts screaming because like it's too hot for me to get out of the car and just like you know walk around and soothe him on the side of the road so anywho just wanted to give you guys an update of this beautiful view
So we are almost to Needles. The baby's starting to stir like he's ready to wake up. He's probably ready for a bottle and a diaper change. Took us about, what, an hour and a half to get here? Not that bad. The only thing is, it's just, you know, nothing out here. It's weird. It's kind of refreshing in a way. Um, this is probably the first time that we've been in the middle of nowhere in the desert that I haven't felt really nervous. Um, I thought I was going to feel nervous. I didn't even have to use any anxiety oils or anything. But um, just uh, while we're still waiting to get to Needles. So whoever found my wallet in Las Vegas used like four of my credit cards at places like Chipotle and uh, there was a little grocery market and a gas station and um, they used it as many times as they could and it was like a, a really big event for me to like get on the phone with everybody and get them canceled and even after one of the credit cards I had already canceled the charges still kept coming through so I had to call them again but I think more than anything it, it felt like somebody was invading my space and it did not feel good um it just felt really gross and like you know I had other things in my wallet too like a picture of one of my best friends who had passed away and um the the baby's vaccination records and we had just rented a uh, storage building and the keys um not the storage building the post office box the keys to our post office box were in my wallet so we had to go there and thankfully they changed the locks and didn't charge us normally they're supposed to charge you but they were super sweet about it but um it just it causes a lot you know it's a lot of hassle and it somebody could have just taken it in the doctor's office and said hey I found this outside or somebody left this in the waiting room but instead they were douchebags and it just causes me a lot of hassle a lot of terrible feelings and like because we were moving all three of our social security cards were in my wallet normally they would be in a different spot but you never know when you're going to need them so I put them in my wallet and so now I'm like can I get credit karma for a baby you know I'm going to have to get him his second social security card and he's only three months old it just makes me feel like a twat you know like how why didn't I think more clearly about this and you know I guess with everything going on I just thought I might need my wallet so I brought it with me and you know just kind of fucks up everything and you know it's just frustrating but anyways we're almost to needles there's I think the exit's coming up really soon hopefully we won't be at the DMV all day I'm really hoping because we're not in like Barstow or a more um, populated area that we can get in and out, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And, uh, yeah, then we're going to stop through Bullhead to see a couple friends. All right. All right. All right. get any video with our friends but we did get to uh, hang out with Doug and Angie and Brad and Diane and catch up with our peeps from Bullhead and make plans to connect again and spend time together when it's a little cooler right now it's 117 here and uh, little Mr. Pister is trying to sleep so maybe he'll sleep through the pass I'm gonna get some videos of the pass because I think it's super gorgeous and uh, that'll probably sum it up down this little pass right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but that's Grapevine Canyon. 
now it's ducked behind that mountain, but we will be coming back here with friends to hike. We can't wait to take Romulus and his stroller back there. It's a nice flat walk. It's just long and hot right now, so we can't really do it right now, but um, we're really looking forward to being able to explore out here again. It almost feels like coming home to be back in Bullhead, doesn't it, babe? I mean, I still want to make it work in Las Vegas, but it felt really nice to come to Bullhead and see everyone and felt nostalgic about being here. So it's nice to live like an hour and a half away and we can come back whenever we like. This is the first time taking full high def though, ultra high def. Yeah. All right, now it's just a straight shot from here to Vegas. Thank you guys for coming with me on my uh, super inconvenient trip to Needles. Actually at the DMV, it was really super fast. They didn't ask me for any ID or anything. They just scanned my thumbprint and uh, gave me the temporary ID. So that was pretty painless. It was just the drive down here, so. The baby's uh, taking his little snooze. And the next time you see us, we'll be coming at you from Las Vegas. Vegas is way back there in those little mountains you can barely see. It's like super far away from where we're at. Feels like we're driving on the surface of a Mars or something. Alright, well thank you guys for tagging along with us, and the next time you see us, it'll be back in Las Vegas on another subject, whatever's happening in our life at the time, and uh, we'll see you then.